Now at five, a man is not spending any time in prison tonight for a crash that killed two people. Families spent more than a year waiting to hear that sentence today. Our Colleen Harry was in court when it happened. She is now live. Colleen, what can you tell us? Well, Molly, the judge accepted the plea agreement and sentenced Roy Mewburn up to two years in prison. But Mewburn won't spend any time in jail because the sentence was suspended and he'll get three years probation. The victim's families were here to see him, and that's never easy. More than 365 days have passed since Philip Hayes Jr. and Jessica Paquette were killed by a drunk driver. But of all of them, today was probably one of the hardest for Verdell Paquette. Coming face to face with him, dealing with what I was going to say, how I was going to say it. Investigators say Roy Mewburn was speeding on I-77 last year, February. He crashed into Hayes' and Paquette's car that for some reason was stopped in the middle of the highway near LaSalle Street. He consumed alcohol not long before the crash and had smoked marijuana the night before. He's given up alcohol. Um, uh, you know, again, he's living in his own prison right now. Today, Mewborn pleaded guilty to two counts of involuntary manslaughter. Well, I'm learning from this, too, to, for, to forget and to forgive. And Constance Hayes stood up for her son, Philip. He won't get to go to father-daughter dances. He won't get to see his son play basketball any longer. Two different mothers looked at the man who took so much from them. And I want you to know that my family doesn't harbor any hatred or malice towards this young man. Instead of prison, Mewborn will be on probation for three years. He still gets to live his. Right. And that's just, it's not fair. You thought he should have gone serve some time. Yes, I sure did. But on a day that wasn't easy, two mothers gave motherly advice. But I hope that this young man has learned a hard lesson, but a lesson that's going to carry you through and change your life. I would like to hear him to at least do twice a month, go speak to high school students, junior high students, elementary kids, so, so, they, so he could teach them not to go out here, drink and drive. And Roy Mewburn didn't have anything to say in court. Well, Ivan Charlotte, Colleen Harry, WBTV, on your side. Really powerful stuff.